All boys. He talked about making special kites for them and taking them all down to the park to fly. The Waltons, a historical drama series set in Virginia's rural landscape during the Great Depression and World War II, offers a glimpse into the life of a close-knit family navigating the challenges of the era. Originating from Earl Hamner Jr.'s book Spencer's Mountain, the series transitioned from a successful television film, The Homecoming A Christmas Story, to a beloved series that resonated with audiences from 1972 to 1981. Ben. When people look at you. The Waltons television series, which aired in the 1970s, is a portrayal of an American family's experiences during two significant historical events, the Great Depression and World War II. Set in rural Virginia, the show follows the Walton family through the trials and tribulations of that era. The narrative focuses on their daily lives, the challenges they face, and the strong family bonds that see them through hardships. The series is recognized for its authentic representation of the period's social and economic conditions, reflecting the resilience and spirit of the American people during those trying times. It offers viewers a glimpse into the struggles and triumphs of a bygone era, emphasizing values such as unity, perseverance, and hope. Something for everybody. John Curtis, look oh. what I got. Yeah. <laughs> and I got a letter here, here for you, Olivia. The television series The Waltons was created by Earl Hamner Jr. It drew inspiration from his earlier work, a book titled Spencer's Mountain published in 1961. The show, set during the Great Depression and World War II, centers on the Walton family who live in rural Virginia's Blue Ridge Mountains. The narrative is deeply influenced by Hamner's own upbringing and family experiences, which he vividly portrayed in his novel. The series became known for its heartfelt exploration of American family life during those challenging times. It reflects the values, struggles, and triumphs of the Walton family as they navigate through life's ups and downs while maintaining their strong family bonds. Some boy would like me enough to go away like that. A boy you like? Oh boy, I was crazy. The television series The Waltons was broadcast from 1972 to 1981. Over the span of nine years, the show became a staple of 1970s television, depicting the life and trials of the Walton family living in rural Virginia during the Great Depression and World War II. The series was known for its portrayal of wholesome family values and the strong bonds between family members. It followed the daily lives of John and Olivia Walton, their seven children, and John's parents Zebulon and Esther Walton. The narrative often centered around the family's lumber mill, the community's interactions, and the historical backdrop of the era. The show's depiction of resilience and unity in the face of adversity resonated with audiences, making it a beloved series that left a lasting impression on television storytelling. The television series The Waltons was conceived following the positive reception of the television film The Homecoming at Christmas Story. The film's success prompted CBS to commission a series that would continue the story of the characters introduced in the film. Consequently, the series was initially titled The Homecoming, but was later renamed The Waltons to better reflect the focus on the Walton family. The series aimed to capture the essence of family life set against the backdrop of the Great Depression and World War II era in rural Virginia. It centered on the Walton family's experiences, highlighting themes of love, hardship, and community. The show became a staple of American television, portraying the values and challenges of a bygone era through the lens of a close-knit family. The television series The Waltons, which premiered in 1972, became notable for its portrayal of a close-knit family during the Great Depression and World War II era. The series finale is particularly memorable for the way the family members bid each other goodnight. This nightly ritual, especially the phrase goodnight, John Boy resonated with audiences, turning it into a widely recognized catchphrase. The ending sequence, highlighting the family's loving interactions, underscored the show's overarching themes of family unity and support during challenging times. It was these heartfelt good nights that left a lasting impression on viewers, making the show's conclusion one of the most memorable in television history. I thought you said we were buddies, you and me. You're not gonna kick out no- The television series The Waltons, which premiered in 1972, is set against the backdrop of Walton's Mountain, a fictional location within the equally fictional Jefferson County, Virginia. 
This setting serves as the heart of the series, providing a sense of place and community that anchors the family-centric stories. The creators drew inspiration from a real-life community situated in Nelson County, Virginia, which lends authenticity to the show's depiction of rural American life during the Great Depression and World War II. The mountain and its surroundings are integral to the narrative, shaping the characters' experiences and interactions throughout the series. The portrayal of Walton's mountain reflects the values and challenges of the era, making it a central character in its own right. The Waltons is a television series that portrays the life of a family living in rural Virginia during a period marked by significant historical events. Spanning from 1933 to 1946, the show reflects the challenges and transformations experienced by the Walton family as they navigate the hardships of the Great Depression and the upheaval of World War II. The narrative unfolds under the leadership of Presidents Franklin D. Roosevelt and Harry Truman, offering viewers a glimpse into the era's social and political dynamics. Through the eyes of the Waltons, audiences witness the resilience and solidarity that defined American families during these trying times, providing a window into the values and struggles that shaped a generation. Hello? Give it to him. The television series The Waltons, which premiered in 1972, is set against the backdrop of the Great Depression and World War II. It traces the life of the Walton family over a span of 13 years. The narrative starts in the spring of 1933, reflecting the challenges and day-to-day -day experiences of the family as they navigate through the economic hardships of the Depression era. As the series progresses, it captures the evolving American society and the impact of significant historical events on the family's rural Virginia community. The show concludes in June 1946, after the end of the war, showcasing the family's growth and adaptation to the post-war period. The series is recognized for its portrayal of American family life during these pivotal times in history. Adoption. Let's go make a bed for him right now. Okay, I'll eat this bread pudding later. I gotta get in the middle. The television series The Waltons, which premiered in 1972, was set against the backdrop of the Great Depression and World War II. It followed the life of the Walton family living in rural Virginia. While the show aimed to reflect the era accurately, it occasionally presented chronological inconsistencies. However, these did not detract from the overall continuity of the series. Notably, one episode was specifically designed to coincide with the actual date of the Pearl Harbor attack, demonstrating the creator's commitment to align certain key historical events with the show's narrative. This approach allowed viewers to connect more deeply with the characters as they navigated the challenges of their time, providing a window into the past through the lens of the Walton family's experiences. I think a lot has to do with Ma. We're not accepting the fact he's sick. He spent so much time. The television series The Waltons, which premiered in 1972, was filmed at Warner Brothers Studios situated in Burbank, California. This location effectively stood in for the fictional Walton's Mountain, and the Hollywood Hills were used to represent the mountainous scenery of Virginia where the story is set. The series depicted the life of the Walton family during the Great Depression and World War II era, focusing on themes of love, friendship, and moral integrity. The choice of the filming location allowed the production team to create a believable and relatable setting that resonated with viewers, contributing to the show's success and longevity. The Warner Brothers Studios provided a controlled environment that enabled the directors and producers to meticulously craft each scene, ensuring consistency in the visual narrative of the series. At any rate, Papa's recipe machine is safe. I think this is an occasion that requires... The television series The Waltons, which premiered in 1972, was deeply rooted in the personal history of its creator, Earl Hamner Jr. One of the most memorable aspects of the show was the bedtime goodnight routine, where family members would bid each other goodnight at the end of each episode. This endearing tradition was not just a fictional creation for the series, but was actually drawn from the nightly ritual observed in Earl Hamner Jr.'s own family home. It reflected the warmth, closeness, and affection that the family members shared, and it became a signature element of the show, fondly remembered by audiences, and serving as a comforting reminder of the importance of family connections.
1972 television series, The Waltons was known for its strong character development, which resonated with audiences through its portrayal of relatable dimensional personalities. Among these, Olivia Walton stood out as a central figure, embodying the qualities of an ideal mother. Her character was crafted with care, reflecting the values and challenges of a mother during the Great Depression and World War II era in rural America. Olivia's nurturing nature, moral fortitude, and the warmth she extended to her family and community made her a beloved character. Her interactions with her children and husband, John Walton, highlighted the everyday triumphs and trials of family life, making the Waltons a memorable show that celebrated the strength and resilience of its characters. First off, why don't you get in the truck and let me take you home? <laughs> to your home. <laughs> Michael learned, known for her role as Olivia Walton, expressed a desire to explore a wider range of characters in her acting career. Despite being recognized for her nurturing character on the Waltons, she aspired to take on roles that were in stark contrast to her established image. Specifically, she was interested in portraying characters with negative traits or villainous roles. This aspiration highlights the challenges actors often face when they are strongly identified with a particular character, especially one that epitomizes goodness and morality. Learn's wish to diversify her roles reflects a common ambition among actors to demonstrate their professional range and prevent typecasting. Now, you don't want to spend every day for the rest of your life alone, do you? The television series The Waltons, which aired in 1972, became a significant part of American culture, portraying the life of a family in rural Virginia during the Great Depression and World War II. Its widespread appeal and family-oriented narrative brought immense popularity to the show, which in turn led to a unique challenge for its cast members. The actors, especially the younger ones, found themselves facing the prospect of being typecast. The fear was that they would be perpetually associated with the virtuous and wholesome characters they played on the Waltons. This concern was particularly acute for these young actors as they looked to expand their careers beyond the series. They were apprehensive about their future opportunities in more diverse and complex roles, given the industry's tendency to pigeonhole actors based on their most famous roles. This typecasting challenge is a common issue in the acting profession, where an actor's strong association with a particular character can limit their career options and the variety of roles they are offered. My business acumen by the wave of romance that is sweeping the country. I guess Mary Elizabeth McDonough, known for her role as Erin Walton in the television series The Waltons, made a significant decision in her personal and professional life at the age of 24. Seeking to reshape her public image and hoping to open up new opportunities in her acting career, she chose to undergo breast augmentation surgery. This step was taken with the expectation that it would lead to a broader range of roles and help her transition from the wholesome character she was associated with on the Waltons. However, this decision came with unforeseen consequences. McDonough later expressed regret for undergoing the procedure as she faced health complications that impacted her both personally and professionally. Her experience highlights the pressures actors often face in the entertainment industry to conform to certain physical standards and the risks they may take in pursuit of career advancement. I couldn't sleep at night. I used to crawl between them. Judy Norton Taylor, who portrayed Mary Ellen Walton on the television series The Waltons, made a significant shift in her career by posing for Playboy in 1985. This decision was driven by her desire to move away from the wholesome persona associated with her character on the show. The experience of making such a bold move was transformative for Judy as it allowed her to embrace her autonomy and learn to trust her instincts. This step in her career was not just about changing her image, but also about personal growth and understanding the importance of self-reliance in her professional journey. Around 1,500 million BC here we are. The television series The Waltons, which premiered in 1972, has secured its place as a treasured classic, continuing to draw viewers into its depiction of life during the Great Depression and World War II era in rural America. The show centers around the Walton family, living in Virginia's Blue Ridge Mountains, and is narrated from the perspective of John Boy Walton, the eldest son aspiring to be a novelist. 
Each episode is a reflection of the family's values, struggles, and triumphs, offering a full portrayal of the period's challenges and the strength of family bonds. The series' ability to provide comprehensive entertainment while presenting an authentic look at a past era has contributed to its lasting appeal and status as a fixture in television history. Not easy to forget.